All right, welcome back, my charming conspirators. Uh, this is Resident Evil 1 Remake. We've got Jill Valentine here. Let's go ahead and get this dumped off in our storage bin. Um, yeah, we just have one more Modisk. I'm going to make sure I got everything in this room. I think I did, yeah. It's like we just got one more Modisk to find, or to use for that code. It's like we got to be getting pretty close to the end of this game. This has got to be like our last video here because we just got the one code to find. And then we got the to battle the tyrant. Elevator isn't working. Right hand side. If nothing in any Resident Evil game has ever had power, it just it's just not going to happen, Jill. Yeah, I remember, there's like, in the original game, there was like this whole section down here. It's like some weird-ass monster. Are those back in this one? I hear it. I hear it. Where the hell are you? Crap, I don't see it anywhere, man. Jill, I can't... Oh, you... Come on. Oh, Jill! It's a freaking camera angle, man. I can't see what I'm doing. This thing is just running around me. I don't know where it is. I can't see because of the camera. It's... Jesus Christ. Things like playing tag with me for crying out loud. One hit from that thing put me in the yellow? Are you kidding me? It's still not dead. Are you... Jesus Christ. How many freaking bullets do you take, buddy? God damn. I think I need to use something different than the shotgun. Shotgun don't really do anything to those guys. There's another one. I heard it. Where is it? I can't see Jill. All right, that one died a lot easier. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can't get hit by those things, man. There's a... Are you kidding me? God damn, man. What is this? Fuel may explode if shaken or jerk. A refuel device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. I don't know, this looks like I'm supposed to like push that, but I guess not. So do I put this in that other room? It's empty. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where that damn room was, man. Where was that room? I think I have to go put that in the... Ah, crap, where was that? Is it not done? I'm gonna go back out here before I continue on, because I gotta get the fuel in that damn canister. So this is a whole new little side quest here that wasn't in the original game, so... was down in this room. Was it not? Like, I remember there being a, a place to put, like, a capsule. I don't know if it was this room or not. No, crap. 
crap, it doesn't look like it was this room. Shoot, where the hell was that room? I could have swore it was this one. Yeah, there ain't nothing in here. Crap. Maybe it was the one upstairs. Maybe it was the one upstairs. Let me go try that. God, I hear that shuffling, and it's just Jill walking, and that shadow it almost looks like a zombie's running after me. It gets me every damn time, man. It's like I just hear that shuffling of her pants, and I think there's a freaking zombie around. Was it this room? Oh, this was the slide room. Where the hell? No, I don't want to. I've already viewed it. Where is that damn... I'm so lost. I have no idea. It's got to be downstairs again. It's like, I remember there was one section in one of these rooms where you could put the capsule thing in, and I don't remember where the hell it is. It's like, I thought it was one of the bigger rooms. That's why it like, went up there, but I guess not. You try in here. What the hell is in here? Ay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this the room? This is the room. Yeah, that's the damn thing right there. Got the fuel supply. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Are you kidding me? Oh, so can I, like, not run? Okay, we'll just walk then. I'm assuming that's what that means. I can't run. Well, hopefully all these enemies are cleared out, but something tells me they're probably going to respawn now that I got that thing full of fuel. Um, yeah, we're not going this way. Such a cool shot of Jill right there walking down this dark hallway. Which frickin' door? I gotta keep going down. I kinda wanna see what happens if I do run. Does it, like the whole game just explode? <laughs> That'd be funny. I have to try that offline here. Please tell me these things in here are dead. Okay, yeah, I think they're dead. Thank God I, like, eliminated them before I went out of this room.
Okay, so what did this even do? Fuel seems to have been supplied to the power room. Okay. Is there like another door? I don't even know. Well, there's like a whole other little section here. Is there something there? What is that? That is nothing. There's like three pathways in here. Oh yeah, I love this view too, Jill. The hell is it? I heard it. God damn it. You There's things up there coming! Come on, the damn ceiling! What the hell? What happened to it? I don't even know what the hell happened to the damn thing. Looks like it got electrocuted. <gasps> God damn, yeah, I don't like those guys, man. Like, low on health, too. Oh, there's the freaking MoDisc. Got him. So we good now? No, there's... <gasps> Still another one. Three bullets left, are you kidding? There's still another one in here. What the hell else is in this room? I hear you. Shit. Well, I got a handgun now. <laughs> I don't know if that's a gonna be good enough to deal with these things. Oh, there's still another room. I might have to go back. Get some health and my grenade launcher, man. Yep, we gonna have to go back. Can't risk dying now. Luckily, there is a storage bin, like, right in here, so thank God. Well, it's kind of good, because then I can ditch the shotgun and get my grenade launcher and focus on that, I guess. Yeah, let's ditch the shotgun. I don't think I have any more shotgun shells. Oh, I do have shotgun shells, actually. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Let me get a first aid spray. Let me get another first aid spray. I'm gonna... bring... the grenade launcher, too, I think. Let me, like, swap those out, and then I can ditch the acid rounds. Yeah, there we go. Use that. Okay. Get our shotgun equipped again. Just want to try and focus on using up these shotgun shells so I can just ditch the shotgun out of my inventory. I can focus on just having the grenade launcher and the magnum. These Resident Evil games, man, they're all about item management, you know? They're all about item management.
All right, so there's guys in this room here. Gotta deal with these guys. But where they are, that's a dead end. There we go, at least I can see. Oh, there's a, there he is, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding? Now I don't know where it went. What the hell is this? The lab's self-destruct mechanism, it's huge. What am I even... There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up, yes. Look, I still hear another... Yep. I'm out of ammo! Are you kidding me? Is there anything... <gasps> I don't even know if there's anything else in this room. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we did what we needed to do. It's like, I think we did what we needed to do here. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, so in theory, the only thing we should have to fight is the Tyrant now. Let's just go back to the storage bin really quick. Give me the grenade shells. Give me a mixed herb. Me another first aid spray. I don't know what's coming up here. So, oh, we got the magnum. Crap, I forgot about the magnum. Give me. Let's just ditch the handgun. I don't even think we're going to need the handgun anymore. Let's do that. But we gotta go back and get freaking Chris first here. Oh, yep, here he comes. I ain't fighting you. That dude was just waiting, biding his time. Yeah, in the original game, Chris was locked up down here. What? Levers for releasing the door locks. It looks usable. Pull it. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow, this is different. This is actually going downstairs further? Oh damn, this is new. Freaking far is this? I guess it's just right here. Yeah, there's Chris right there. Jill? Chris! You're alive! First time we've seen him I'm all freaking game. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. 
Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though. <laughs> My god. Okay, well. Guess we gotta go ride that elevator first. zombies and yep, there he comes dude I don't even know if that's the right door <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going here oh it was the right door nice okay Elevator is working. Jill. Yep, here comes Barry. Barry. could have at least waited up for you, you know? Let's go. Wait up for you. You're the one that freaking abandons me every time we run into each other. Frickin' Magnum ready to go here. Got Barry nearly taking up half the frickin' screen. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're yeah, I kind of feel b bad for Barry for this well, game. He didn't really have a choice. Here. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <laughs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. <laughs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Well, there's a tyrant right behind his shoulder. Seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. You and Sirius Black. I would have rather died than betray my friends. Damn it, Barry, you gotta watch the Prisoner of Azkaban, my guy. It's magnificent. <laughs> For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Damn! Oh, this is new! Barry! Damn, Barry, you watched Prisoner of Azkaban pretty quick! No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Oh, so is Barry gonna help us with this fight? Now, in the original, the Tyrant just walks extremely slow, and you, you can just, like, beat him with a handgun here. So I don't know if this is going to be different. Damn it! Get him, Barry. <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. 
You want a piece of me? What? <laughs> Premature. Oh, so that's different too in the original, like Wesker, like no, that thing Barry. stabs him right in his stomach. You viral cultured freak. Jill, I wouldn't say anything to it. Ooh! They hit me. How much damage did that do? God damn it. Yeah, it's gonna be I'm blocked in. Damn it. I can't even go that way. I think he's down. Okay. The hell is everybody? The electronic lock has been released, okay. Look at all these other Are these all Tyrants too being, like... He's holding something. Observation note. Uh, the discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the Primogenitor Virus. Uh, the prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. Uh, the sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. Uh, the prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Uh, through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. Uh, this was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. Um, I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. What? <laughs> First, let's just get out of here. <sighs> How did Wesker... Yeah, he is gone. Did he, like, not drop a key? How do I get Chris out of the frickin'... Or was that electronic lock release? Did that do the trick? I don't even know. It's like in the original, we get, like, a master key on the ground after Wesker... I'll make sure. I guess we go. Maybe that lock I released, that was the Chris's door, maybe? Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry! Oh yeah, it says releasing all locks. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me... Storage room's right here. Let me get stocked up on stuff here. I don't know if Jill's gonna have to fight the tyrant again. 
it's like in the original, she didn't have to. Like, I think Chris did. But then again, I don't know, they may have changed some things here. I'm going to get a save on file just in case. I'm going to keep playing them. It's like, I might have to deal with round two of this damn thing. Because more vicious form. Yeah, let's uh let's load up here just in case. Give me uh let me see, what do I got? <laughs> Twenty two ink ribbons. Gimme mixed herb. Gimme See I got six magnum bullets, eleven of those, and so that should be enough to take down whatever. Give me another first aid spray if I got one. Yeah. I think that should be enough. I think we're good. I don't know where the hell Barry went. Oh, Jesus. Yep, I ain't fighting you. Oh, my God, man. Which door? Which door? <laughs> which door? Is this door? Jesus Christ. I hate those damn things, man. I gotta like look up and see what those monsters are even called. I have no idea what their what their names are. The lock is released. Okay, yeah, Chris, we're getting you out. Jill. Sorry about the wait. So everything's taken care of. Well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. Like, I wanted to search his cell, make sure there ain't no notes or anything in there, you know? What the hell you have going on in here, Chris? Yeah, there's freaking stuff right here. I don't even have the shotgun, though. Um, I guess just leave them there. That's good to know, though. And you guys who are playing, you got the shotgun some bullets in there if you just go back in. I mean, I don't think I'll need them. I got, like, freaking 10 magnum rounds and, like, 16 grenade rounds. That should be sufficient to take down anything. One would think, anyway. It's like every single boss battle in this game has been super easy, so why would it, why would it change now, you know? Come on, let's go. You just like Barry, man. You just want to run off. We got to go up to the other elevator up on the second floor. Or actually, it's on the third floor. They all better be up here. Come okay. On, come on, hurry! Look at the stuff here. That's kind of cool, man. They're like trying to like load you up. Um. Chance. 
see, like, in the original, I had to, like, find, like, a freaking battery. That's why I left an inventory space open, but I guess we might not need one. So let me just take an extra health kit. I got a space for it. I knew it. There's a freaking battery right here. Yeah, use the herb. The fuse unit. Okay, that's different. It's like, I don't know why they'd even make you do that to have put an item that's like five feet away of where it needs to go. It's kind of bizarre. <laughs> Contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. So see, I'm thinking we may not even have to fight the tyrant again because I think those two are gonna deal with it. I don't know, I'm trying to remember when I played the original who I actually fought the tyrant the second time with. I'm pretty sure it was Chris. But then again, why is it giving me a three-minute countdown? I, I don't know, man. What the hell is this? Will you take the signal rockets? Okay. Do I just, like... I don't even know what I do with them. What do I even do with these? Flare rockets I can signal Brad with you. Okay. Let's use. These are pretty fancy. Okay, I was like, if that tyrant you walks out of there, man, I swear to God. No, no, here he comes. Oh, we are going to have to fight it. This is a 3v1. Well, 2v1. <laughs> Jesus, that thing changed direction fast. I can't even see where the damn thing is. Oh, damn, man. Jill! I got one hit from that thing, put me in the red. Jill, run away from it. Okay, he's like after Barry. <gasps> Not now! I'm out. Okay, yeah. Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Where the hell is that thing? There it is. Got four shots. Oh, really? Get I'm killed! See ya. Game over, buddy. I just got a trophy called I'm a member of stars. I love that helicopter paint scheme. That's cool. With the big stars emblem on the side of it. That's pretty sweet. The white... Boom.
where's Rebecca Chambers? Did she make it or did she get blown up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we didn't see Rebecca at all in uh, Jill's playthrough. I wonder if she's just for Chris. Okay, yep, that's the end of the game. All right, guys, another Resident Evil game in the books. I just want to see if it gives me like a ending results Jill, screen here. You did a fine job. So, 9 hours and 15 minutes. Creatures dispatched, 108 creatures killed, uh, 14 ink ribbons used, used 33 health items, ammo used, 371 bullets. Uh, Jill has a new costume. Uh, you got a closet key. A new costume has been unlocked, like you can change in the dressing room. The hell's the dressing room? I wonder if it's in that one room in the mansion on like the first floor that I couldn't get into. I bet you it's that room. Get a new save on file. It's like I did all that just so I could change my clothes. Really? Not gonna give me like a rocket launcher or anything, man. Transferring data. I don't even know what this is doing. Transferring data to where? Okay, so yeah, we got the once again option. Um, manual leaderboard gallery. What's the gallery? Select a movie you'd like to view. So I can only do the opening. Oh, these are like all locked, but I got... Jill ending one is unlocked. Damn, how do I unlock all these things? Interesting. I want to know what all these things are. Credits, leaderboard, manual, options, once again, load game. Okay, so yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably uh, play through this again with Chris and see like what Chris experiences through this uh, remake. Um, I know in the original, uh, you get to like team up with like Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Chambers. So also wondering in Chris's playthrough with this remake, if he has like brand new locations that Jill doesn't even visit. So I mean, I'm going to try that out with Chris and I honestly feel like I'm going to up the difficulty with Chris. Just want to see. Yeah, there's like a very easy mode, an easy mode, normal, and then hard. I'll probably do hard mode. Just because it's just like this whole playthrough with Jill. Resident Evil. New costume has been unlocked. Oh, so I can play as Chris or this one, BSAA Chris. That's kind of cool. What does Jill have? <laughs> I don't even know. Jill's just got like a green tank top. Oh, I like that one right there. That's like her um that's like her Resident Evil Revelations costume. So that's pretty cool. I like that costume a lot better. I don't even know what this one's from. But I can play as original Chris or I could play as like uh Resident Evil 5 Chris here. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I think I'm going to up the, the difficulty because Jill's run was way, way too easy. Um, I think I had like over over 20 like health items in my inventory box at the end of this game with plenty of ammo. So yeah, that's just kind of like my one complaint. Like it was really cool to play this remake and just see like the updated mansion and the graphics and some bonus locations and bonus scenes and stuff like that. That uh, That's all really cool, but the, the game was way, way too easy. Um, the boss battles are were a complete joke. Like, the snake only took, like, I don't know, what was it, four shotgun shells and it was dead? Um, the big spider only took, like, five, like, acid rounds and it was dead. Uh, Plant 42, we didn't even have to fight Plant 42. Um, the Tyrant... The first Tyrant battle, that was, what, five Magnum bullets and he's dead. And then the second battle, like, again, like six Magnum bullets and a couple uh, flame rounds, dead. Um, what other boss battles were there? I don't even know if there were anymore. 
Oh, the Lisa. Lisa, you just had to push four items off a thing. You don't even have to shoot a bullet at her. And that, that battle ends. Like, the boss battles were just way, way too easy. So, hoping if I up the, upgrade the difficulty for hard, then they might be more of a challenge. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was the Resident Evil 1 remake. And, uh, yeah, when we come back, we're going to try our luck with Chris up the difficulty and we'll see what uh, Chris Redfield experiences. But thank you guys so much for watching as always conspirators of stay charming and uh, we'll see you guys soon in the next one.